Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to generate the dynamic names in the Postman. So let's begin. In one of our previous sessions, we used an API to create an employer. So this, this was the API we used to create the employer, right? And in this particular API, we were using this particular payload in order to create an employer. Now you have a new requirement and as per the new requirement, whenever you hit this particular API, you need to provide a unique name every time. Okay. Now in Postman, you can cater this thing in the multiple ways. The first one is to use an external CSV or JSON file. The second one is you can generate or write your random function. And third is to use a faker library. So in this tutorial, we will use a faker library in order to generate the random names in the Postman. Now what we need to do is that we need to click on this prescript section, okay? And here we need to use the faker library so that we can generate the dynamic names. So this is the easiest way to generate the dynamic values. So for that, what you need to do is that you need to write pm dot variables. Okay, dot, you need to find replace in. Okay. And here we need to provide whatever we need as a dynamic. So faker library provides you to generate a dynamic first name last name full name and there are so many other things you can generate randomly okay so here you have to write in the brackets just use this okay and here provide two curly braces in the start and two curly braces in the end and here if you want to use the faker library then you need to use a dollar sign here okay and then random let's suppose we need to generate a first name so first name okay so this is a really simple one-liner code which can help you to generate a dynamic names okay now what we will do is that we will save this value in the environment and we will use that environment variable into our request so we will write pm dot environment dot set okay and here you can see that we need to provide a key string value and type okay so this helps you to create a new variable okay so first we will give a name here as random name okay and we will pass this in this body okay one way is to pass this whole one from here okay and this one okay and i am commenting this one here and other way is to you know save this whole random name first in some variable and you can use that variable here okay now i am uh, showing you the environment variables we don't have any kind of the random name variable here. Okay. I'm just clicking on the send button right now. Your request got executed successfully. Now just click back on this I button. And here you can see a random name and name is being generated. Now this hit this API again to see that either we are getting a random names or not. Okay. Now go back here again and you see a new name here. So what we did is that we use a fake library in order to generate the random first name. You can also generate a random last name. Okay. And you can also generate a full name here. Okay. This send here and go here again. And you see now we have a full name, random name. Just click on send again okay and go back again here and you see a new random full name okay now what we need to do is that we need to pass this variable here in our the body okay so for that we need to provide curly braces in order to pass this variable okay now we need to provide the variable name here 
and variable name is basically a random name i'm coming from here and going back back here in the body pasting it here and now we will see either we are able to generate this request with the random full name or not let's click on send you see now we have a new name here full complete name click on send again we are getting another new name okay so this is how you can uh, utilize the faker library and generate the random names in the postman and it will really help you when you are working with the dynamic values dynamic values are really critical when you are working with the apis especially because there must be uh, some validation implemented on the api level right because in actual when you are trying to register a user so the value should be a unique right maybe your age your email something needs to be unique right every time you create a request so you can use the faker library to generate the random names emails uh, there are so many things you can do with the faker library just go and search for the faker library you will find a lot of things there and you can utilize those things here in the postman thank you so much for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today see you in the next lecture